So today we're going to be using our Bloodstalker to steal ourselves some Rock Drake eggs because guess what? I figured this would actually be a pretty decent method of getting them, but I'm also really nervous because I do not want to lose Silk Spectre. Um, I don't want to have to replace her essentially with a, with a version that's identical to her, but you know what? I'll know the difference. I will know the difference. Uh, so while it earthquakes here, let me show you some stuff. So first of all, the last uh, Genesis Chronicles update has come out and it's obviously brought in a bunch of Explorer notes. I don't really cover too much of that stuff on the channel. I think I showed off maybe the boots or something like that. But um, yeah, so I went ahead and got this in my own time and I painted it up and I gotta say, this is the coolest thing. Like, I love this tech suit so much. It looks so much better than, you know, the regular normal tech suit. And don't forget, we're gonna have this tech suit straight away when we start playing on Gen 2 uh, in May, basically June. Um, so yeah, we're, everybody spawns with one of those when you're playing on there, by the way, in case you didn't know. I'll probably do a video rounding it all up closer to the date of that. But anyway, so uh, this is what the tech suit looks like without... Did I not paint all of this? I thought I did. Okay, so apparently I didn't. I think I just painted the helmet maybe because that was the last piece. So, um... Yeah, that's what the tech suit looks like normally. Everybody knows this one, and I like it. I have always liked this tech suit, but I just, I think the the skin, the new version of the tech suit is just so much cooler. I'm kind of curious though, like will the tech suit in Gen have any different functions? Because I didn't even know if it, if it had like a jetpack until we saw the Gen 2 trailer. So um, I don't know. Does anybody think it's going to have all the same stuff? Because I'm really hoping that it has some different things. I would be okay if they got rid of the power punch. I'm not a major fan of it. And sometimes I randomly do it without meaning to do it. But uh, yeah, I don't know. Let me know what you guys would actually want on the tech suit. Because I think one thing that would be really cool and probably broken so they wouldn't do it. But could you imagine some sort of like shield? Like the almost kind of like a droidic shield that just appears around you for like a certain amount of time or something. Kind of similar to the mechs actually. One of the mechs has like a shield bubble thing. Or maybe invisibility like cloaking device or something. I don't even know. I think there's so much that you could do with tech suits. But yeah they haven't actually gotten into any of that stuff um all right so a couple more things that i want to show off before we get to it and oh by the way guys go ahead do me a favor hit the like button if you find yourself enjoying this one uh so first of all um it's been quite a few uh days since the last episode i've been doing a ton of taming and like other stuff in the background here we've tamed up a bunch of megalosaurs and i've also tamed up and bred together a bunch of shine horns no mutations currently but we'll definitely go for them at some stage i mentioned before how i, I would kind of like to maybe get uh, some really good stats in all four light pets and then do a video maybe mutating them all in that same video or something So we'll do that at some stage, but for our shine horn all the best stats that I combined uh, Are right here. So we got 45 points into health. We got 41 into charge capacity charge regen is 46 uh, The best weight I got was 46 as well and then the best uh, charge emission range was 42 So it's a pretty good shine horn. It needs a lot more leveling though I do have a couple replacements of it in case but I did go ahead and name it Wear Goat and put the little hat on it. I love this so much. It's the goofiest thing. Uh, so this thing will obviously gain a ton of levels in the background uh, while it's in the little ball and also just doing things with me. So uh, another thing is we have Megalosaurus here. I haven't bred them together, but they're all tamed up. So I think which one? I think this was the one that we tamed in a previous video. So uh, that one there had the best weight stat, which was 51. The best uh, health that we had was 45, or is 45 now, 54 on stam, and then the, and then the best melee is uh, 43. I'm kind of like, I'm talking so much, I need to like swallow my spit, this is disgusting. Anyway, so yeah, we have some pretty good stats, nothing absolutely amazing, I mean the stamina is really good, I'd love that on health or melee, but I can't really get anything. Oh my god, I just spotted something, I'm an idiot, I, how did I miss that? Oh my god, this one right here has a better melee stat. That one there has 45 points. How the hell did I miss that? Okay, well, you know what? This one can go on the ground. We don't need that one anymore. Awesome. I, I'm, I'm so embarrassed now, right like right now. That is, that is the worst. How did I miss that? All right, whatever. It's fine. We're just going to go ahead and chuck these dudes into here, uh, keep them safe, and let me just see. Do we have anything that I don't really want to bring with me? Uh, we probably shouldn't bring the tech suit. It's kind of pointless. It really is because it doesn't really give me any benefit down there. Unfortunately... You're not able to use a tech suit uh, to protect yourself against radiation. At least I'm like 99% sure that you can't. If I'm wrong, then I'll put it up on screen right now, maybe. But I'm pretty sure that you can't use that to protect yourself. So that really sucks. Uh, we also don't need this. I don't need that. Um, pretty much like all of this stuff is kind of like useless on me. But I'll keep a couple of the little like essentials 
I suppose, just in case we're in a situation where I'm going to need them. Uh, climbing picks actually could be kind of handy. I will keep my bow. And I think that's pretty much it. I don't need a grappling hook. You can't even use those over here. All right, cool. I think we're pretty much good to go now. I'll get rid of the mammoth. Oh, uh, my spino. I need my spino just in case. I think it's in here, right? There it is. Cool. All right, cool. So we are pretty much ready to go here. Let me see. Silky is right here. Let's head down to the uh, area. I should probably point out that if you're looking to walk down to this area, I have a great video showing the whole uh, route that you want to take to go down there. That's what I was looking for. I looked at my inventory. I'm like, okay, there's something in here I need. And I go ahead and just forget what it was when I hop in there. Oh, you've got a level. Lovely. There you go, bud. Uh, we got to maybe get you a little bit of food because uh, apparently I've been slacking. There you go. Just There's just a little bit so you don't eat me. All right. So let's see. I have some mushroom brew, which is the like little, I guess, radiation... Uh, stopper whatever i don't really know it's like a radiation potion essentially uh you feed it to creatures that will take radiation damage so they don't take radiation damage because honestly radiation on this map is awful to look at but it's also pretty nasty stuff and you definitely don't want your creatures uh taking that damage constantly so let's see if we can get over here and here we go the best way if you're hopping down here on a rock drake is just coming to the spine and then just like dropping down here this is really cool though coming down here on a freaking bloodstalker though there we go so we have some radiation coming in but my guy is okay oh i believe you can stack those right oh no you can't i thought you could i really thought that you could do that although maybe i'd have to be on ground to do that let me see maybe that's what it was no you can't i think you used to be able to do that but maybe i'm wrong all right so we've already got a ton of uh bloodstalkers here and i just realized oh crap <laughs> I don't think you can actually do the light up command thing when you're on a, or I almost said rock drake, when you're on a bloodstalker. So let me quickly just do that over here. Um, we're going to have to probably fight that guy or maybe not. I think maybe we might be okay. All right. You know what? I don't really feel safe here. I don't really want to like hop off in case it attacks me and I don't want the nameless to attack me either. Let's see. Is that it? Okay. No, I need to rebind it. Where is it? Light. There we go. Boom. I don't believe you can do that when you're on one of these guys, can you? Okay, let's get out of here. Probably should have done that before we left, but it's okay. All right. So, here is the Rock Drake area, and we just got to try and scout out a good egg. Because as soon as I grab one egg, I'm going to probably need to leave. I'm going to need to get these guys away from me, because I cannot fight them. Just a bloodstalker would die. It definitely would. But this is a nice little test, though. At least being able to actually check this out. And it's probably one of the better creatures to just move around with down here. Let's just hold down E on this. So we feed immediately. That's pretty good. All right. Um, let's uh, just try and land directly down into this nest. I thought that egg disappeared there for a second. We're just going to grab this one no matter what, I think. And then maybe lead them out. And then hopefully I can try and... Can I, like, climb the wall? There we go. I was trying to latch there for ages, but it wasn't working. All right, what level is this? What is that? A 192, actually. This is not bad. Okay, so max level on my server for eggs is 228. So, yeah, that's not bad at all, actually. So, let's see. Let's just try and, like, lead them all away because they're all coming for me currently. So, let's just do a little bit of this. Try and get them all together. Maybe I'll just, like, chill here for a second. We've got a giant mob of them right here all right come on boys any more there's usually a lot more okay you know what we can do we can go ahead and do this and then transfer it back and that re aggros them actually you know what we should do that throughout this whole little mission so we can just get the rock drakes to leave the area before i try to steal the eggs so let's just kind of like drag them over here if i can come on oh no oh i'm so glad they put in that thing i don't know what i was thinking i hit e i meant to hit t oh my god yeah i'm so glad they put in that thing where it's like are you sure you want to eat this egg um yeah i that that could have been really embarrassing yeah really could have all right cool it's fine <laughs> god damn it right we have another nest okay we do have an egg in it which is good um all right, we might need to either deal with that or maybe it will go away. I'm not exactly sure. Oh, no, they're still aggroed on me. Interesting. Hmm. Well, you know what? Actually, maybe what we could do is we could lead them over here and just have our Spino killing them. That could work. I think my Spino should be able to take them out. Let's see. 
Let's see if we can do this. Uh, we also need to pop another one of these. Boom. So yeah, I'm, I'm kind of thinking that maybe the uh, Bloodstalker is a pretty good creature for this. I mean, like, it, you definitely kind of need to separate these guys out and just get them away first. But once you've done that, I'd say it's pretty good. And you can make a fast getaway as well, which is great. All right, come on, boys. Actually, you know what? I'm really hoping that you can use these guys on Aberration because I'm going to be so embarrassed if you can't. I do have the setting with flyers enabled. Not specifically because I want to use flyers, but oh my god, do you guys see all those rock drakes? And I'm kind of wondering if you can actually use these guys over here. You better be able to. If you're not, I'm so sorry and I did not know. <laughs> Look at me with my privilege of this private server where I'm able to control the settings. Oh my god. I'm going to be so embarrassed if you can't. Oh wow, okay. Really should have checked that one up first. There is an actual mob of them. There's so many of them. Should I just chuck down the spino? Like, yeah, let's do it. Uh, did that work? Oh, it did. Amazing. Uh, Spino, get down there and kill them for me. Thank you very much. Oh my god, do you hear that? Do you hear all these guys? Like, what on earth? Can I get up there, please? Thank you. One of them knocked me off. Um, he should be okay, I'd say. There's, like, there's way too many of them. Oh, hello. We just look right at our Bloodstalker. Uh, there's way too many of them for my... Bloodstalker to really be in there with them, so we can't really like and we can't leave them away easily So we're just gonna have to do this and if the spino dies, it's okay We could just grab the saddle after um, it is actually taking a hell of a lot of damage. Whoa, what happened there? Why is it doing so much more? Oh, I think maybe it's stood up on its hind legs That would make sense. Let me see if I can give a little bit of a hand here. Oh, no Yeah, no shooting on bloodstalkers is awful. I did not mean to apparently jump up like that that's great. Uh, let's see. Is it doing good? I'd say it's probably still doing pretty decent here. It is probably also taking a um, little radiation damage, and so am I. There we go. But it looks like it's pretty good, actually. It, to be honest, I don't really have a very good uh, color for these spinos. Um, they're like, they kind of look like they're already bleeding, is what I'm trying to say. Can you, like, thank you. Let's just do one of these and just do that. There we go. Okay, Spino. You can do it. I know you can. There you go. We got one of them, and then we'll pick you up once you kill the other one. Almost. Come on. There you go. Go on. Do it. How's it not already dead, buddy? <laughs> oh, there we go. Nice. Okay, that was the 260. No wonder that thing took so long to kill. All right, so... um. Uh, there's the little bag. I just want to grab the rock drake feathers because it's definitely got to have a bunch of them and a little bit of meat actually Definitely should have grabbed some meat before we came down here Because there's not a whole lot down here. Did I even transfer that? There we go We're having real struggles here today black pearls by the way check them out down here Let's see if we can get in here. Yeah, it looks like they're already respawning. This is definitely not a super uh, good situation right now. We're kind of in a bit of a pickle because there's a lot of them I'm just gonna need to just speed grab the eggs and then just like bounce as soon as I've got them. So this one here is terrible We'll just grab it anyway just to get rid of it And let's do one of those and Maybe we could just keep running through actually we should probably do that Just you know grab like jump into the nest grab the egg and then just you know go to the next nest Are there any eggs in here? Okay, that one there has an egg, but this one is a nest, but it doesn't have an egg. Weird. Okay. Oh, no, no, no. Okay, I need to be a little bit better on Bloodstalkers. I'm really struggling here today. There we go. Ooh, okay. And what are you? 102, not great, but we do have another egg over there. I think I just spotted at least. Did I? Yes, I did. Look at that. Okay. Not a great spot right now, though, so we're going to come back for that one. Um... Let's head over here. Oh crap. No, I need to, I need to keep an eye on that. Oh man. All right. That really sucks. My guy is radiation poisoned uh, So we've got a nest with an egg there. We've got a nest with a potential egg that yeah, that one has an egg too Okay, we've got so many rock drakes though. These guys are crazy down here. It's like the magmasaur area You know, there's just so many of them except I think the magmasaur area is worse Although rock drakes can move very fast and you definitely don't want to be on something that is squishy down here um, Okay, let's see and by squishy I mean like squishy and slow not squishy and fast like my dude here Although if I did get piled in by them, I'd probably die Let's just keep grabbing them 
We've got another one here. Uh, yeah, we've, it's right there. Let me just see what level it is. I probably don't have to grab every single one. Uh, what level is that? I think that said 96, but I'm not 100% sure. I want to actually just move away because there's so many of them. Uh, let's get over here. Okay, come on. And what do we have over here? Let's see, where was that one egg? It was like, I think it's pretty much like right where all the rock drakes are actually. So not great, not great at all. There it is, I think, yeah. Cause there was an, an empty nest there. Oh wait, no, no, now I'm getting confused. Oh my God, there's eggs everywhere. I need to just check them. What is this one? Ugh. Oh, it's a 174, okay. It's not bad, okay. It's great on the Bloodstalker because you drop right off where the egg actually is, which is really nice. Um, let's go ahead and just get rid of the bad ones. So 192 is pretty good. We're going to eat this level 60 and the 102. 192, 174. It's not not bad. Okay. 228 is what we're really looking for, though. Let's just get ready for this. You know what? We might as well just drop the rest of that in because we're going to need it all on you. And there you go, lovely. I could have sworn that you were able to stack those before. All right, so let's go back over to this spot. Maybe they've dispersed a little bit. Probably not. No, they have not. They're all in the exact same area. Okay, so Bloodstalker. Good creature for getting the egg and getting out, but if you need to deal with the rock drakes, which most likely you do, definitely not a good creature for that. Uh, is that an... Is that supposed to be an... Why can't I jump right now? What the hell? I was hitting the button, but it wasn't working. I'm like, you know, parachuting and... There we go. Now it's working. Very weird. All right. Yeah, this is like supposed to be a nest. <laughs> what? What is happening here? I don't... Okay, now I'm trying to climb the wall, but it's not working either. Okay. I don't even know what's happening. I'm just... We're just gonna roughly jump onto it. There we go. Yeah, that is not how nests are supposed to be, but that is a 216, and I like that. Oh, no. Uh-oh. Hang on. No, we need to get you closer there, bud. You need to be on this weird-looking nest. Like, what? On, how is that there? Doesn't make any sense. 216, though. That's great. I will take that. We're having some weird issues. I feel like there's some weird, weird like, staticky mesh or something around here that's just getting in the way that's invisible. What is this one here? Uh, what is that? 204, okay. I'll take that. I'll take that for sure. Yeah, okay, so here's what you need to do. You need to be like moving them as a nice little like wave of rock drakes, you know, going back and forth and kind of keeping them at a good distance. But right now, look at this. We actually have some really good eggs, a 216. I will not, I will not pass that one up. That is actually a really good egg. We could probably get some great stats out of that. Now, here's the thing. Rock drakes are not breedable. We are not able to breed them. I feel like we should be able to breed them. I think it would be a great update that everybody would love. I know everybody loves the fact that we can now, oh my God, I keep forgetting. We can now uh, breed wyverns, which, oh my, what the, give me a spot to latch to. There we go. Whew. So yeah, we can breed wyverns now, but rock drakes, like when are they gonna get breeding? And you know, basilisks too. When are we gonna get breeding and mutations for those? I know I could use mods, to do all that and I have done that in the past but I don't want to I want that to be in the game I want that to be a thing that people can do because I think it would be great um and like especially the fact that they made wyverns like breedable like I think it's silly to make them breedable and not make the rest of them breedable plus magma sores are breedable anyway so I guess they don't spawn up to like what is it like 20 percent higher in terms of levels like the other ones do but still um Let's see, any eggs here? We have an egg there. These two nests are empty though. This is a nest that we can check out. Although, why is my guy not luring in? There we go. The, I feel like the Bloodstalker's super glitchy today. I don't know why. Like, I'm doing it right, but it's just not working. You know what I mean? Uh, can we check this egg? What is that, 24? Meh. Let's uh, try and get out of here a little bit. It's a lot easier to get rock drake eggs when you have a rock drake as well. But uh, I'm definitely enjoying using the Bloodstalker. Besides the frustration in terms of like actually trying to get it to do what I'm trying to get it to do. You know, I'm, I was legitimately reeling it in, but it just wasn't reeling in, which is weird. So I don't know. Maybe I'm having some issues here. 
let's see we've got eggs there and there and we have rock drakes everywhere anchor to there and then parachute and then we'll do this okay what level is this egg we also need to keep an eye on our weight all right so that's not a good level i am keeping an eye on this don't worry wait for it wait for it and one second here we go boom we're good uh i mean should i just grab it no i'm not going to i'm gonna go directly to that nest oh there's two of them here that's good uh what level is that level 60. also it's great the way you can actually see their level without having to hop off i like creatures that you can do that on uh level 60 as well okay all right uh let's see we've already checked that one there this is another nest uh, no that's not what i wanted to do okay hang on do that do a little bit of reeling in get the height and then go right there i definitely got to use these blood stalkers a little bit more i feel like i'm a little rusty for sure and i probably should have practiced just a little bit for a couple minutes before coming down here but yeah that's where we got the 204 right so it's probably not filled already but i do almost kind of want to check let's see uh do we have anything new oh my god we actually do that is amazing wait maybe it was that one that we got it out of i'm not exactly sure but i just know it was down here can we anchor please Ooh. okay we're getting out don't worry we just need to move all these rock drakes and then we can check out that nest so that's probably a completely fresh egg maybe and let's see can we get over here okay and move down maneuver that's what level 24 poop we're leaving came from a 204 to a 24. Oh, how the mighty have fallen let's see come on we gotta I, I think there was some more nests over here right there wasn't like another one along here that i didn't check this one maybe I'm not sure though uh we have 18 seconds to do our thing there we go that is a level what is that level 66 not very good there was another nasta uh, doesn't have anything in it okay and we got to do our little soup and there we go okay there is another area that we can go and look at um i think there was one more spot back here that i can go and check let's go ahead and do that whereabouts was it though um i think was it oh was it here is this it it's kind of hard to like keep track of everything now that was a level 60. so i guess if we did check it then obviously we left it uh let's see okay no i've just realized like this has just been a straight shot episode so far <laughs> i love those i love those types of episodes where it's not like a whole lot of jumping around it's more of like an adventure i actually really enjoy those types of videos like obviously it's less editing but still you know it's just i think it's a little bit more entertaining to watch like 30 minutes of just like utter chaos sometimes uh level 24 okay let's see Ooh, let's go over here we're gonna check this one out nope let me up there please eh. okay we're good let's see there we go and what are you 108 all right i should probably start grabbing the bad ones because like unless i do that you know good ones aren't gonna spawn unless i grab the bad ones so we, we definitely need to do that occasionally at least uh, okay whereabouts is the other area i think it is over in this direction right i think that's the end of it over there so i should probably want to head out in this direction here i know what the start of this little cave looks like and this is also the the way that you kind of like come down to when you walk down i believe right it's over here right? i think i i hope uh okay i might be a little bit lost is this it i think this is it through here okay we gotta we gotta feed a soup though come on here we go and sweet i feel like when you get down to the last five seconds you should be able to just feed it although i guess if we get to that stage i'll probably still be sitting there holding down e hoping to feed um is this the spot i'm thinking of it is not i don't actually know where that spot is now i'm getting very confused this area all it just like it looks the same it looks the same all over the place kind of i mean i can kind of distinguish a little bit of it if i could move right there that would be great um yeah 
This is, I just came from here. Wow, oh my God, did I, I just went around in a circle. I totally did, look at this. This is gonna lead me back to where I was. There's another spot though, let me get to that. It's, it's like, ugh, I'm gonna need to like find the, the walkway down here and, and use that as a nice little uh, waypoint, I suppose. Um, <laughs> oh, this is embarrassing. How the hell did I manage this one? You may ask. Um, I don't know. I have no idea how I managed to mess up this bad. Where the hell is the pathway? I feel like it's it's definitely over here. Okay, hang on. There's the actual pathway there. And again, we've got a video showing off like how to kind of walk down here. Cause like, unless you have something like a rock drake or like a flyer like this, or not a flyer, like, you know, a Weber, I suppose. Um, unless you have a Weber barbecue like this, you're not gonna be able to like get down here super easy. So, I mean, you could just hop down and chuck something out of a cryopod, but it could be your funeral. You never know. Um, let's see. So, it goes down this way, and then I think it loops around over there. Um, and then, oh yeah, it drops down here. Okay. It's kind of hard to remember. Oh, this is the spot. Yeah, this is the one. This is the area, because then there's like this like little shelf up there as well. Okay. I'm remembering, we have not so much time left down here. We gotta go ahead and feed another one of these right now. Should probably also just force feed a little bit of meat to try and get this thing to heal. Not really working a whole lot though. Um, okay, so this is the other spot. This is the one I would often just end up at. So it's kind of interesting to be on the other side at the very start. Let's see. Uh, okay, we have a couple nests. Oh, we actually have quite a few nests. Are there eggs though? No egg, okay. Unless it's like hidden underneath, which can happen. Not so much on rock drake nests, but river nests for sure have that happen all the time. I was reeling in, why was it not reeling? <laughs> Please, I know how to use these guys. Why was it not reeling? Okay, now I'm stuck. Okay, we need to just get out of here. We need to just move out and then just do a super jump. That's it, that's the move. And then we do that, amazing. That is a level 24. All of that for a level 24. Terrible. Okay, what do we have over here? Nothing. Most of these are usually empty. I think around the corner here can usually have some nests, though we don't seem to have anything. Oh, we have one here, but is there an egg? There, oh, there is. Okay, my God, they like load in when you get super close. Oh, two, 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 hello. Okay, I'll take that. That is great. I love that. Awesome. Um, okay. Let's see. So we have the little shelf up here. And we have quite a lot of nests, but are there eggs? There's no egg there. We probably don't have an egg up there either. And we do not. Okay. What about over here? We do. Awesome. Let me get up there. And land down directly on top. Okay. What is this? Level 210. Okay, look at this. We're getting all the really good eggs. I think we have every increment from... Wait, let me see. Hang on. We have a 204, I know. Yeah, look. We have a 204, a 210. We have a 216. We have a 222. We just need that 228. That would be amazing. We also have... We're missing a 296. Wait, no. It would be a 298, actually. Yeah. 298 is what we need to come from here. Oh my god, yeah, that, that's kind of goofy, but yeah, that's, uh, that's pretty cool. Let's go ahead and do another one of those. Yeah, I just noticed. All right, well, you know what? I almost kind of feel like this is a good enough haul for now. Like, we, we're kind of getting a little bit weighty here, and we already have some really good eggs. Like, a 222 is exactly what I needed. That is probably going to make for a really good drake. Now, bear in mind, you should probably hatch, like, any half-decent level eggs anyway, because uh, rock drakes are... Are great and all, but sometimes you can get the best level one and it can just have the most awful stats. Can I not latch to anything up there at all? It doesn't seem like I really can. There we go. Now we're getting them. Okay, let's get up here. So we're probably going to hatch these dudes up in the next episode, I'd, I'd say. And, and then maybe try to steal some more as well would be pretty good. Um, so yeah, guys, go ahead and hit the like button if you have enjoyed this video. And uh, do me a favor, check out Extinct Apparel. We are... Obviously doing some crazy merchandise over there, and uh, I think there's a little bit of confusion. I've seen a good amount of confusion. It's not like a company that I'm working with. It's like legitimately mine. <laughs> I named it. I, I've, you know, designed, well, I haven't actually specifically penciled the merch, but I, I roughly outlined what I wanted and commissioned it all. Like, it's literally all me. 
So yeah, even though it doesn't say like syntac.store or whatever, it's it's literally my merch store. So check that out if you want some awesome stuff. Uh, we got some cool stuff coming in March as well. So maybe actually wait a couple days to check it out. Unless you want to pick something up now. Anyway. Oh my God, I missed it. Damn it. All right. Well, you know what? That is it for today. And I'll catch you in the next one.